Welcome back to another vlog. I'm gonna be doing a weekend of my life this week. I have not done like a full weekend vlog in so long, but I thought it would be a good weekend to do so because it's our first weekend like home, I feel like, and not having a ton of chaos going on in a while. So we're really focusing on doing some wedding planning related things this weekend. <music> Y'all know our wedding is coming up quickly and I have loved getting to play around with my Cricut machine to personalize a lot of different things for my wedding. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited because today I'm sharing the Cricut Joy Extra machine with you all. I love the Joy Extra because it's such a great size. You'll see in the clip that I compare my hand to the size of the Joy Extra and it's so great because you can really just put it on your kitchen countertop if you live in an apartment or on your coffee table you can easily store it and bring it out when you want to use it because of its great size the Cricut Joy Extra has truly an endless amount of opportunities when it comes to creating projects some examples are multicolored stickers t-shirts cards gift tags mugs and so so much more there's a ton of pre-designed templates within Cricut's app and the app is so easy to use Joy Extra has a sensor that allows for print and then cut functionality which essentially allows you to print things out on your printer at home and then use the Cricut Joy Extra to precisely cut them out. This is super great for creating stickers and much more. Cricut has an intuitive design software that seriously makes being a beginner so easy and so fun. And you can access it on your phone or laptop, which is really great. So if you don't have experience, you don't have to worry. This is truly something that I really believe anybody can do. I'm using my Cricut Joy Extra to make a printable sticker to go inside a locket for my mom as a gift. And we're also doing this for my fiance's mom on our wedding day. So I just loaded my Cricut with the fine point blade that it came with and then went into design space and uploaded a picture of my mom and I from when I was little. I resized the image using locketstudio.com so that I could keep the integrity and quality of the image good. And I zoomed in on my canvas a bunch and added a heart shape as a layer and then selected both of the layers and clicked the little slice button. And this is essentially gonna cut out the photo. You wanna make sure the heart is aligned where you want the photo to be in the shape. And then you're just going to turn off all the layers except for the slice results. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started with the printing. Your first time using the print then cut feature, your Cricut's gonna want to do a trial to make sure everything's nice and aligned, so definitely do that. And then I'm just using printable vinyl for this as my sticker option. It's just what I researched and found was best. And then we're going to load the printable vinyl into the printer. I loaded it upside down because that's just the way my printer prints. And then going into Cricut Design Space again, we're going to click on make. So I had to test this out a little bit. You wanna make sure that the add bleed function is toggled off and then the use system dialog function is toggled on. And this will allow you to set up the printer settings how you want before you print. My printer was bleeding the ink if I selected glossy paper. And once I changed it to plain paper and just did normal quality, it actually printed perfectly onto the printable vinyl. So that's what worked for me. And then I just stuck it to my light grip map and went back into Cricut Design Space once the print feature was done. I love that the printer connects through the Cricut app. Like that's the coolest thing ever to me and I'm not having to print it separately. I selected my base material, which was printable vinyl with the green liner. And then I went ahead and selected the pressure as more just to get a more defined cut. And then went ahead and proceeded with making the sticker. And then I just watched my Cricut do all the magic. The Cricut Joy Extra can precision cut over 50 materials, which is literally crazy, such as vinyl, iron-on, print materials, and even cardstock and then this is me just showing all how precise of a cut i got a little bit of black around it is just ink bleed from accidentally rubbing my hand on it and then i'm showing y'all the picture it came out so good obviously it's going to be super tiny but that's just the nature of lockets but i was so happy because i actually tried just doing this on printer paper myself and cutting it out and it looked literally terrible like my fiance was like please don't gift this to them and now we are both so impressed because i just stuck the sticker into the locket fit perfectly was perfectly cut into a heart much better than my hands can do and it's such a great sentimental gift for the wedding day. Whether you're a bride and looking to DIY a lot of projects or if you're just wanting to have a hobby, I highly recommend the Cricut Joy Extra, especially because of its really compact size. It can easily fit in a cubby or a closet and definitely is great for those of you with smaller spaces. But don't judge a Cricut by its size because the opportunities and possibilities are truly endless with what you can create with a Cricut Joy Extra. Thank you so much again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I will leave the Cricut Joy Extra machine and the materials I used linked down below if you wanted to check them out. I've been gone all morning. I was really only expecting to be gone for like an hour maybe, but I was literally gone from like nine to noon. My plans were to go to Mama Cabol's and get a gingerbread 
bowl and iced coffee, which I did. But I also wanted to kind of look in Fourth and Nomad and Favor the Kind, which are just some local stores here in Houston. I don't know about you guys, but I seriously struggle with self-control when it comes to gifting. Like I want to spend a hundred plus dollars on everybody, but like obviously that's not really doable. But I really wanted to shop local for the gifts I was planning on getting this year or, or did get. And I actually got so many great things. And I love shopping local because they usually do gift wrap for free. So I don't have to worry about that, which I like wrapping gifts, like the whole process of it, but I'm terrible at it. We definitely aren't going crazy with gifts though this year. So, you know, I wasn't wanting to spend a lot. But I was in favor of the kind for literally forever because I was waiting on Griffin to respond to me about whether he thought like certain gifts were good for people in his family. But I got stuff for all of his sisters and I also got a gift for his mom at 4th and Nomad. I had no idea this was going on today, but there was a little holiday market in the Heights where they normally do the farmer's market and everything. And I looked around at all the booths and I had already bought like all of the girls gifts, but I was looking to see if there was anything for Griffin's brother and dad. And I found this because Griffin's dad is a huge UT fan and he's a UT alum. And it's like a watercolor painting and it's already matted and framed. And it's supporting a local guy. So I was super happy with that. Which I feel like I did pretty good with wanting to stay like within reason, budget wise and everything. Especially because everybody's also getting gifts on our wedding day. And granted, they're not like Christmas type of gifts, but they're gifts. So I just feel like I've spent a lot of money on gifts lately, but it's fine because I love gift giving. Welcome to another weekend of my life. Definitely catch up on my videos if you haven't because I actually did just put in my two weeks for my job yesterday. But we also have all of our candles that came in the mail like a week ago for the wedding. And we need to go through all the boxes and make sure none of them are broken. So that's kind of like a big to do today because if any of them are broken, I need to like order or ask for replacements ASAP. So I leave my outfit linked below, but since it was warmer, I just wore my Outdoor Voices exercise dress and threw on this set active quarter zip, which actually a lady in favor of the kind was like, what jacket is that? She loved it. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. Um, Griffin got it for me two Christmases ago, I think. And then my hokas and I wore my little free people. Um, what's it called? Crossbody like backpack satchel thingy. And I also need to edit a video today. That's like the big thing because I want my week in my life talking about quitting my job and everything. I want that to go up tomorrow on Sunday. I'm gonna try to like tidy up right now and then I think I'll work on editing. here which is nice because I am just not in the mood to cook dinner right now um but I just got some of our prints in the mail from Canva so some of them are our bar signs and some of them are our menus so these are the bar signs I'm hoping they look good they look really good oh my gosh I should have done a darker color for the margarita like found a different art because this one's just really really light and it kind of blends in with the paper but they came out really good. Oh my gosh, we're doing a old fashioned and a coconut margarita. Those are our drinks, but I got five of these and then I ordered just some like basic frames. I got these off Amazon and it's a pack of five and then I have five of these. So should be enough for like the cocktail hour bar and then also for the um, actual bar because the way my venue set up, there's like two separate bars for that. So I can finally get those put together, which is super exciting. I'm a little bit nervous about the food menus though, because I, which I designed these myself in Canva. I pretty much just decided on like a font pairing that I really enjoyed, which this is Cormorant, I believe, Montserrat, and Pinion Script are the three fonts that I've used in this. And I'm trying to use only those fonts for anything that is like signage related because I don't know what it is, but it really bothers me when there's not like consistency across everything. <laughs> Which there's probably gonna be some things that are similar, but not the exact same, just because it's not really me doing them. But these are the menus. It was way cheaper for me to print through Canva than Vistaprint actually. I just have to like resize things on Canva because I was originally using Vistaprint dimensions when I was designing. I'm a little bit nervous about these menus because I did, oh, they look good, they look really good. Oh my gosh. I'm like so proud of myself for like doing these. 
I don't know, maybe if you're like a graphic design person, you probably think these look like crap, but I feel like I did a pretty good job for like having zero really experience at it. These are the menus. Oh my gosh, they look so good. I have like the date. I found like another template on Canva that had a crest. And I know you can like get them designed on Etsy and everything, but I was like, okay, this is literally free. And I just like removed what they had on that whole template. And I just only reused the little crest and I was really worried about it printing clearly because the lines are so fine. But they actually like printed really perfectly. We've just got like the entrees, the dessert, and then our little um, late night snack on there, which we're literally just repackaging our cake into boxes, like our leftover cakes. So we don't have to go home with a ton of cake and getting like uncrustables and bags of chips and everything from um, Costco or Sam's and having those in little bags. So we'll have like the bags of like the to-go snacks and then we'll also have to-go cake if you want to-go cakes. That's a much cheaper alternative for to-go snacks if you're looking for ideas for your wedding. I know Uncrustables and stuff aren't as glamorous, but I feel like it's good because it's just, you get a little bit of variety. Wow, I am so impressed and so proud of myself because this was way cheaper than what I was originally gonna do. Since the wedding's on, you know, New Year's Eve and our colors are like black, gold, and champagne and you know, it's New Year's Eve. I got these bags off of Amazon for the late night snacks for the Uncrustables. It's like really fine glitter, but it's black paper bags with like, but it's a fine glitter instead of just plain black. So I do love this because it was just like a nice little way to elevate the to-go bags. But I'm so happy with all these things. It feels really good to like have them in the mail in person and like done. So I, I'm so glad they worked out because I was very, very worried about those. from the registry for the first time um, to do our shredder chicken. Um, I normally use forks, but it just shreds it so much more quickly. You have to determine how much, like how fine you want it to get, how fine of a shred, but it works so nicely. How exciting, just so easy. I love that it's cordless too. You like charge it with a cord, but in order to use it, um, it just has to be a little charge and go to work. Went to F45 this morning and then I went and got a coffee at Tiny's, which I was like standing in line to order and I heard them say like their espresso machine was down so they can't do coffee and I almost like turned around and walked away. But I wanted to make sure that was what I heard because I wasn't 100% sure. And thank God I like still stayed in line and asked because they're like, oh, we still have cold brew and um, what's it called? Pour over coffee. And I was like, oh, perfect. So I tried their cold brew and it was actually literally phenomenal. I don't, I like cold brew, but like a lot of times from coffee shops, it's just way too acidic and my stomach like can't handle it. But theirs was, didn't even have an ounce of acidity in it. It literally tasted so amazing. It tasted like an iced coffee more like, but it didn't have that strong iced coffee flavor. It just tasted like cold brew without the acidity. And I got it with a splash of vanilla and oat milk and it was just amazing. I've been really missing out on their cold brew. I'm gonna, I think, try and finalize some of our like honeymoon excursion type things that we wanna do because we've been trying to narrow it down and I wanna go ahead and like reserve them so we don't have to worry about it, which we already have like two or three things reserved, but we need to do the rest. I also just put away like a bunch of stuff from our registry that's been sitting out. It's like a little obstacle course slash maze in our entryway right now because there's like literally 50 boxes between all the candle boxes and then just some things that I just got in the mail for brand deals, some furniture that we need to build that we got from our registry, which have like a bookshelf. Um, and then we got like a steam cleaner for our floors off our registry and it's literally been sitting like blocking our stairway for forever. Um, and I finally just made space for that in our stair closet and I'm trying to like clean up the stair closet a little bit. <music> to go to Riven's parents for dinner. We've been going over there a lot because of 
wedding related stuff. Um, some of the stuff that we have is like at his parents' house. So like we've been going, I don't know, it's just been easier to like do things in person and go over there like for knowing what's in our inventory and like the little things we have to do and everything like that. But it's 5.45, so we're about to head over there. I just made a Topo Chico and Lime. Our living room is a mess right now though. These are all the candle boxes or these are actually just for the vases we have boxes full of candles elsewhere and over in this corner it's so bad i'm not even going to show it like in the entryway just boxes everywhere griffin went through all these today so check the candle vases i think it's best to transport them like this so they don't get damaged when we like are driving them to the venue and everything we're not having the big candles on all the tables it's just on the two long tables we have so Really, it would be pointless to, to divide it up by table. This is where we're at with all the candles right now. And I got all of ours from Yummy Candles. I shopped around a bunch and that was like honestly where I found the best deal. And on Black Friday, they were doing... It wasn't the best deal in the world, but they at least had some kind of discount. I think it was like $70 off with what I spent, so... 